Welcome back to Ebbs and Flows, the Q&A show. You guys see it in the <clears> comments, <throat> you want more of this? So here we are. See you on the stuff. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> First and foremost, poor Kent. <laughs> Kenty, Kenty, Kenty. Oh, what's your thoughts on it? We haven't talked about this. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just keen to hear your initial reaction. Oh, look, I've got two sides. As a player, I used to play and get sprayed by him and that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm lining up and I want to tee off on him. To be fair, I want to <laughs> tee off on him. I, let me... How long's the queue behind me of players that want to be in this position right now to, you know, <laughs> the line forever... It's, good it's reckless. It's reckless. <laughs> it's out of control, if I'm being honest. It's reckless. Oh, it was crazy, yeah. Like, I was watching the video. Um, I caught up with uh, Ben Modellino over yeah. in New Zealand. Mm. And he gets, bro, did you see Paul Kent last night? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? Nah. And then he showed me the video. Yeah. I was like, surely not. He must have been there for a long long lunch if he's if he's that rowdy, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, um, heard, I heard the Hello Sports Boys um, one, one line. <laughs> it made me laugh. He goes, he's obviously going out to take the night for a walk. <laughs> I was like, well, oh, I've never that one before. Bruh. Yeah. You know what it told me too when he took off the watch like he was going to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you know what, bro? When he took off the watch, I was like, oh, like he might be able to like throw him because mm. obviously like, you, ne you never know. Yeah. But then he, he started like lining up there too and I was like, oh, no, he's in trouble here. He looked like he'd been on the sauce all day. He's had a big one. Yeah. And no doubt people are into him, you know, giving him shit probably all day or afternoon. And obviously at the end of the night, they've just heckled him on the way out too. And that's just ticked him over. We've all been there. Let's, yeah. We've all been there. The boys have been into us. We're about to leave and, we, and the last little heckle um, flips us. But yeah, it was a bit of a laugh. Um, yeah, he's in big trouble, I think. What do you reckon happens to him? You know what? I think um, he'll just go independent, probably start his own podcast. Do you going to get fired? Absolutely, he should. Oh, I don't reckon he will. Hey, I reckon I'll protect him. Oh, look again. I'm coming. He should be fired. He's got to be out. <laughs> He's got to be out. Oh. Absolute grub of the uh, fox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it becomes almost hypocritical that he can't talk about a lot of things now. That like you know, there's all those memes getting around. Is mm. like like how disgraceful it is and, and yeah. he should be walking away from certain scenarios and, and why do players do this? And yeah. he's been a like anti guy of Man Monday. Yeah. Like, you know, he's he's been a proponent of, of a lot of those things. Yeah. It's interesting to see him on the other side. It is. Uh, do you reckon he cares? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, oh, look, it is a weird one. I think like one of the boys was saying to me this morning. They reckon he'll go independent, start his own podcast. Um, he knows a few people are high up, so he's um he's like he's the big. He's, apparently, he's like one of the big dogs. Yeah, that's what I heard this morning. I heard all this this morning. Like he's a big dog there. You know, everyone kind of just if they don't want to really argue with him and all that. So I reckon he'll start a podcast, and um, yeah. Go yeah. from there. Uh, do you know what? Like he, uh, like I, I've never ne necessarily really liked him, but he is like very good at, at what he does. Yeah, yeah. And I think if this was a couple of years ago, like I would have been posting stuff on YKTR Sports and yeah. like saying what's happening here, and it's probably yeah. not my battle to to fight anymore. Yeah. But um, because it is a draining battle when you get into those ones. Because yeah. when the last time it happened, when the domestic violence stuff happened, yeah. I started posting things on, on yeah. social media and like people were attacking me from all. Yeah. And I was like, oh, bro, this ain't even my fight anymore. Exactly. And like even me, like I was like going to repost all the memes and all that stuff. <laughs> I'm just like, bro, like you're not even in footy. Like no one cares what you post anyway. <laughs> like who cares? It is a laugh. It is a laugh. It is a laugh. And it, and, and um, it spread like wildfire, that video. So. Yeah, we, we got an idea for a video, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> we well, might, we might do one. Nah, yeah. but it, it is like, um, I remember, like, I was thinking about it this morning, and I jumped online and I was reading all the newspaper articles about mm. it because I was having a coffee, reading the paper. Yeah, I was like, oh, fuck, this. Is there a few about? It, is it? Not, nah. the, you should see the headlines. Wow. The headlines are throwing me off. Oh, so, okay. like, I'm looking at the headlines, and it goes, "Guy who assaulted NRL." Um, journalist has been charged uh, and knows all the headlines, bro. Yeah. So I was like, nah, this can't be it. So I jumped on Google, Paul Kent News, and you can hit the, like, there's um, the news tab. Yeah. Hit right. that, and all those are framed up in that scenario. Oh, so it doesn't actually say his name? No, nah, like it says, but it blames it on the other person. Oh, wow. Yeah. So he goes, the guy who, who attacked Paul uh, Kent has been charged. Well so, th like, think about the other way. Well, he's first. got friends in high places then, obviously. Yeah. So I found that weird. So I think about that time when, when you guys got jumped and there was four guys, 
Chica got racially abused. Yeah. You guys got jumped. Yeah. And you have to pay 20K. I know. Man, that's wild, man. <laughs> It does. I remember that. I remember I had a meeting with Abdo and that, and I was blowing up. I'm like, what, "How am I getting fi- like? Wh- how am I getting fined here? And how am I in trouble? I'm sticking up for a mate. Mm. Oh, clearly, you can see in the video there's four v four. Uh, us two. He's been racially abused. And they're like, "Mate, you've brought the game in dispute and all that." And I'm like, "What? Sticking up for a mate? Isn't that what? Isn't that what we're taught to do in football too? Yeah, yeah. You're left and you're right, but." Back your mate up, blah blah blah. But you don't, you don't mind whacking an indigenous flag around the Koori boys when when it's time. You know what I mean to e- tick a box. Exactly right. Exactly yeah. right. So because that that ain't actually like like oh, I'll be careful what I say. Mm. But like actual racism is the stuff that happens on the, on the day to day. You know mm. what I mean? All yeah. the small stuff, the, the yeah. crossing the street, like that's actual racism. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Um, even like um. Uh, like you said, someone sent me a video um, on Insta about um, some at the local footy. Someone uh, racially. Oh yeah, they'll do. They'll yeah, do the video too. So yeah, we got sent that as well. Yeah, it's it's not on. It's definitely not on. But yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, the poor Ken stuff. Do you reckon sports like if you're attached to media mm. and part of the game and you're making money off the game, us included? But more so on that Fox Sports Channel Nine, should they be held as accountable as players? That's a good question, eh? I'd probably say not because you're not looking. The kids are not really sitting there looking. I I want to be on that 360 desk, or I want to be. Uh, so I don't feel like probably as much, but they've still got some responsibility, like you said, because they're you know promoting the game, all that. They're involved in the game. They're on TV three or four times a week promoting the game. So to a certain level, but not as much as a player. Yeah. What's also, your thoughts on it? Um, probably the top. Like I reckon, yeah. not not like. Be interesting if like Asada rocked up to <laughs> Fox Sports. How much of the boys are running out? Like, yeah, like, yeah. You, you know, but like I wouldn't get to that sort of point. But like they should be in the media. They are a part of the media, and they're happy to talk about the boys when the boys are fucking up. Yeah, why is it not the other way around? Yeah, and that's what happened with NRL 360 last time when it just went down to Bray Finasta, and he goes, "Paul Kent's been stood down," and they just sort of roll, rolled rolled on. on. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, "Oh, why, why aren't they addressing it?" And I yeah. like I, I brought it up to someone, and he's like, "Oh, it's like a legal matter. Legally, we're not allowed to talk about it." Yeah, but as soon as the boys get in trouble for having a fight on the street, yeah. like it, it's free reign. So yeah. it's just so hypocritical to me. Well, yeah, of course, and look. At the um, Adam Reynolds and Pat, Car- they were wrestling, and it went on for four days. Yeah, I mean, in the meet, and they came out and had to say sorry. What? <laughs> They're wrestling. Like, yeah. What do you mean? Like, it's just, it's always yeah. And then I jumped on social media, like looking at like nine, like Fox Footy, like mm. see where the articles and stuff were. Mm. Like, it shouldn't like he shouldn't make it because he's not really about football. But there's just nothing about it. And then I jump on a. a like a page and it goes on the trail potentially going to sit out like origin yeah. and the comments just go yeah bro it's so annoying but it'd be interesting what happens to him like if they like let him go it'd be interesting if he'd said something like racial during that yeah that thing because he did say like dog kid but that's yeah attached to anything but if he if he said something racial racial he would have they would have had to let him go but i reckon i reckon they'll stick with him i reckon they will they just they just got too much power nine lives good on him <laughs> yeah, good, good on him. Yeah, and like I was talking to one of the boys, I tell you who it is after, and I go, "Fuck, what do you reckon happens?" And he goes, "Nah, he'll do a public apology, do the blah blah, and just jump back on." And yeah, because you know what he reminds me of, bro. Yeah. He reminds me of you know that guy in football, and they've got no talent. They normally mm. play thirteen, mm. like. They just get by on yeah. being a grub. Yeah. And you hate them when you're not playing for them, but when you're with them, yeah. he's the guy. I reckon that's him, bro. Yeah. For, and the media version of him. Yeah. Like all those Fox Sports guys would probably love him because he course. drives headlines. Yeah. You can throw him into a conversation. He's going to give you a, like a really interesting take. Yeah. And to be fair, he does have some like good takes. Yeah, like, he does. He, he does. He's not afraid to say what he thinks. Uh, but I, I think, um, yeah, I think it's, I don't know. It's an interesting one. I, I don't know if they're going to stick by him. Because yeah. they had um, Gordon Tallis jump on after he was gone like last year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gordy? <Yeah. laughs> well, they've got um, Gemma on there now. I think Gemma's good too. Do you know who the guy would be? Who? Mace. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Mace. I reckon Mace would be the best. And I, I know like he probably wouldn't do yeah. TV because I like, in my opinion, I still think he's like the best rugby league 
sports podcaster in, yeah. in Australia. Yeah. Like, besides like Matty Johns and obviously all the big dogs. And yeah. Probably throw Den in that conversation. But he's got a clear point of difference. He's not scared to say what he thinks. And he's yeah. got like a great relationship with Brave too. Yeah. And he can still do, do his, le- his level stuff. But like if they wanted views yeah. to go, go up. Yeah. I reckon it, he's it, always got some good stories. Eh? Bro, good he's yarn. Got so you're always going to have a laugh. And like you said, he's got a point of difference in his... And you know his points as well. And the thing is, like, Brave's the host and he's got his um, own opinions, which are, like, good as well. Mm. But then it goes, like, journo, journo, journo. Mm. Like, if you go player, player, journo, journo, yeah. I think there's a nice little dynamic there. I'd love to see him get stuck into a few of the journos just for a laugh, <laughs> you know what I mean, you know? Yeah. It would be a good laugh. You know what? It probably would go through the roof too, the the, the uh, ratings. Oh, I'd just give him, like, an open checkbook and just mm. go, hey, bro, come on, give us your takes. And then, obviously, him and Brave are tight from, from their dog days. Yeah, I think true. it'd be an interesting yeah. one. Well, there you go. Yeah. Um, nice. Latrell sort of, I don't know if he's come out or he seems to bring up media a lot <clears throat> that he might not play Origin. What's your thoughts on that? Does Perfect. How <laughs> <laughs> good. Shout out good. Queensland. Yeah, 100%. Oh, uh, well, look, uh, he probably, he, if he said it himself, has he said it himself? Yeah, that's or? the thing. You, you never know. Yeah. Because Latrell's like the best at getting clickbait mm. from any, like you hear more about Latrell than from Latrell himself. Like, yeah. Latrell could drive to home from, and then he gets in the media for that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, like he's kind of the guy that drives the most headlines and yeah. it must be so draining to be that dude. Yeah, hundred percent. He's yeah. a walking headline. Um, yeah, like you said, we pro- probably don't know, but if he isn't, how good? Yeah. For Queensland anyway. <laughs> Jerry. I hope he plays, man. Cause like, honestly, like he's, he's the type of guy, he reminds me of like Michael Jennings, Josh Dugan, mm. Dane Gagai. Like mm. they could be playing park football with one leg yeah. when Origin comes around you still pick him yeah because they, they're going to rock up and yeah. do their thing Jenko got picked from Windsor Wolves one time what did he? yeah he was playing he got dropped to Reggie's when was this when he was 16? <laughs> Like proper origin. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, he got dropped to Windsor the week before and come played origin and like killed yeah, it. Yeah, killed it, yeah. I think he was on the outer before I haven't had Penrith. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, trying to smoke him out the club. But for me, man, I hope I hope Luchel, um comes into the origin arena. Yeah, of course. It, it mate, he puts bums in seats. I don't care what you say about him or what hate what you or, think of him. Hate him or love him, you still want to watch and him. And then in those big games, you know he's gonna turn up. Yeah, he's a freak. Yeah. And like um who can honestly like who could you name that can do what he can do on the field in the, in the Origin Arena. Yeah, not many. Maybe Tommy, probably Munster. Yeah, yeah he, he, money. Yeah, Munster could. He could. Um, It'd Fido, be a handful. Fido <laughs> went see a couple more years. I reckon he'll really start killing it. Yeah. So rapid, but yeah, I just hope he's more. not doing this to give into like media, like you know when media, pre- like media just, pressure, media pressure, public it, yeah. pressure. Maybe he said, "Oh, you know what? I'm gonna um, focus on South." Souths. Rip in, prove everyone wrong, have a crack, have a good good back end of the year and, and um, yeah, prove everyone wrong. So it could be a few things, but, you know, he seems to love South the, South the most mm. and it's very close to his heart and that. So maybe he's like, you know what, I'll take a back seat to Origin, focus on South and get back to South. So either way, yeah. Yeah, it is good for Queensland. 100. Takes takes the pressure off. Uh, rolling around South, Lachlan earlier has been told that he's – can look elsewhere. They've just signed the young dude from Super League. I don't know who he is. Do you know who he is? Um, nah, I'll just say news to me since you've just told me that. <laughs> <laughs> Tough gig though for the for the young bloke. Yeah, bro, broken leg, like got dropped, broke his leg. And on then the day said, and then, see, yeah. So that's that, what that's I always it. say, man, look after yourself. Yeah, fucking so, Imagine if that was the, like, that's what I say when, like when clubs do this to players, like, you know, when a player's got all, you know, if you're a good player, you've got all the claws in, Everything's on your terms. You look like, oh, look at him, greedy, arrogant. You know what I mean? And then as soon as the clubs do it, it's like, oh, yeah, well, he probably wasn't performing. He <laughs> broke his leg. I oh, see you, mate. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is why I'm saying, like, players should look after themselves. It's hard being in that, like, mm. sort of mid-tier. Mid-tier. And obviously he's young, so I can't, like, you know what I mean? It's, it's different for him. But for him to be dropped, broken leg, and just go, oh, look, look elsewhere. It's going to be tough on him, especially confidence-wise. Like Mentally, that could be massive on him. He might not ever get back to the play, or, you know, who's going to be or he could be, you know what I mean, just because that's rattled him so much, you mm. know. He might even end up in Super League in the next couple of years and he potentially could have played here for, you know, five, ten years. So mm. it's going to be a weird little position for him. It's going to be up to him eventually what happens to him, but... Yeah, it's, yeah quite, it's a tough gig. It's kind of that weird conversation where, like, is he like the like because he sort of plays like sort of Chad Townsend, like mm. that style of halfback, but then like sort of Brody Croft as well, where yeah. Chad Townsend's been able to carve out a pretty good career and yeah. was in a good side and yeah. now winning. So yeah, you know, you learn how to play halfback in that way. Yeah, and then Brody Croft, who got like 
didn't quite work out and then yeah. he becomes like the bad guy and he gets shipped off over there. But he, but he kills I, I it over there. Yeah, yeah. He, he kills it over he there. Got, he, got, he goes uh, well. Man of Steel, eh? I think so, yeah. He, Maybe last year. He, he plays well over there as well. So. I can see that powerful uh, Lockie where yeah. he'd just go over, kill it for a couple of years and hopefully come back. And yeah. Good thing about Super League is like you play a lot of games. Like, yeah. Yeah. That Easter weekend, you're playing three games in a row. That's you play around good. decent crowds, yeah. like people care about it. Yeah, it's better than playing like reserve grade. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but he could he could roll into uh, maybe Bulldogs. Mm. Yeah, who's the Bulldogs have now? Hutchison. Uh, Drew Hutchison. And what are they coming now? Actually, the dogs. They're in the eight. They're oh, in the yeah, eight. The doggies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Starting to get a vibe about the boys too. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, it looks like they looks like they care. Oh, that's good. You know what? With the dogs, they've always had a crack. It's not the issue about not having a crack over there. It's just like the lack of talent, polish at the end of their, you know what I mean, their sets or their plays or their game. Mm. It's just lack that little bit of expertise, I reckon. Yeah. Up the doggies. And it's hard to hard to like um, teach when you're not winning. Mm, yeah, of course. Yeah. Because <laughs> like if you look at like Penrith, when, when guys come into the system, like say Tags and Taylor, mm. they come in and there's a proven track record of success. Same yeah. with Melbourne. Yeah. They're like if you just do this, like we can get that. Yeah. And if we do this for a long period of time, we can get premierships yeah. and rings. Yeah. And they can point back to people that have done it in their team mm. or a couple of years ago, like we just need to stick to this. With the like Bulldogs now, or well, even all the bad teams, you just like. Does it give um if you're in a good system, and you're winning, and you're not that good? Does it give you that false sense of yeah, how good I am? Knows. And then like yeah. when you go to another team, you're like, oh, hang on, it's a bit harder in a team that doesn't go forward or a team that's not completing or winning as well. Oh, it, cha- sure. yeah, it changes a bit, doesn't it? For sure. Like I've only um, ever been on the end of teams, lower teams. So <laughs> just wonder what it's like at the top. <laughs> The highest paid and the lowest teams. <laughs> <laughs> Good place to be. What would you rather be? Would you rather have done what you've done? Like, oh. uh, you'd rather be you rather be overpaid oh, than underpaid, eh? You're worth what they want to pay for you. That's what yeah. I've always said. <laughs> you most overpaid player, mate. Well, that's what they want to play for. Like, it's interesting. Like, you talked about the Melbourne system in the last, last podcast. And it's interesting to see guys, once they leave, mm. how good they actually are. Mm. Once they leave that system. It's almost like the rising tide raises all ships mm. for that system so good. So even guys who are like, say like Ryan Hoffman, he went to like the Warriors. Like mm. he was still a good player. Yeah. But like he made a career off running that, that tough line. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know. Yeah, true. Again, he probably doesn't look as good as because they're not as winning as much as well. You know what I mean? Probably doing the same thing, but they're not winning games. So you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. You know um, what I mean? The guy... <laughs> I'll say it as a fucking Finchie when he, when he was here, when he was saying, obviously, all the shit before all that stuff happened. But he was saying, he goes, fuck, you go down to Melbourne, you don't even try as hard, but you play twice as good. Yeah. Yeah. Just because you, what, it was just that, just the standard that's set in the. Yeah, he just goes, well, you don't have to worry about anyone else. But he your goes, own. He said when he was at Parramatta, he'd be like training twice as hard and trying yeah. to touch the ball a thousand times. He goes, yeah. but you just do your, and then everyone just praises you because you're winning. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. That's a fair call. Yeah. It's an interesting take for like a lot of the younger guys who, um, I'd, I'd like, um, I was thinking about that, Sunia Taruva. Mm. So he's just signed to West Tigers. I'm actually interviewing next, next week. Yeah. Um, I'm interested to hear his take, but he's gone to the West Tigers for an extra 100K a year. Mm-hmm. So it's interesting to sort of break that down. Like mm. I was doing the numbers yeah. on it. So he's going to get tax 45% of that plus manager fees. Yeah. At the end of the day, he makes it an extra 4K a month over the course of a year. Yeah. Yeah, it's like so, it's, it's so. Did he come from Melbourne? Sorry, no, no, he plays for uh, Panthers. Panthers, oh yeah, no, so he, he, Panthers, man. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, when I was breaking it down like that, I was like, oh, I don't know if I go for the Tigers yeah. for four K. Well, like you said before, I'd probably probably take a bit less to stay in better teams. To be honest, yeah, you know, you have a good time or like whatnot, and being in the good sides, you get to play all the finals and all that because that's what you play for at the end of the day. You want to you want to have a chance to win a premiership. You want to play in finals, blah blah blah. Mm. So definitely, yeah, it'd probably take a little bit less to stay at a better team. Yeah, I hope he kills it anyway. Yeah, it's something, but they got Jerome in that there going soon, so they might, he might just see a bit of a change. Yeah, in the culture, mm. and ne- never against anyone trying to make some more money for for them and their family. Yeah. So yeah, you don't like the Warriors, but see they lost on the weekend. Yeah, right. to the Titans. Oof. What do you reckon? No, do I just think do, like last do you year. Legit? I just think last year, like it, there probably wasn't so much pressure on them like oh because they went so well probably did anyone expect it no there you go so 
And then this year, all eyes are on them. You know, they've got a cool media team. The f- you know, they're back in they're back in New Zealand. Their crowds are massive. You got the whole nation behind them. It does add a little bit more pressure. You know what I mean? And and maybe things that were working for them last year, teams have adjusted. You know, they've got to look at them last year and play play them a few times last year, and now they're up against them. And I know they like to play really narrow, deep, like straight and deep. You know, teams might adjust. I love that right side. Yeah. <laughs> so, shorty, shorty, shorty. Yeah, yeah, you know, they, teams can adjust and, and figure it out or figure out ways to, you know, ruin their rhythm. So, uh, you know, it's a lot harder for them this year. But they'll if, be, I don't, I don't know. Um, you know, like, so they're saying that in business, like the market always, like, corrects itself. And yeah. There's a lot of teams that have that sort of Cinderella type run in every season. Mm. I think the year before was like the Cowboys and everyone knew the yeah, Cowboys was exactly. coming. Yeah, it is. It always, that following next year, once you kill it, when no one expects you to, there's always that talk in preseason. All the, you know, all the big um, channels are talking about, yeah, all the boys are getting interviewed more. There's just a lot more lights on you. So, yeah. And yeah, when you put pressure on yourself, things will not always go the way they did last year. And they're probably like, we're playing the way we did last year. Why isn't it working now? And all that type of stuff might creep in. So... They're still contenders. I think that I think they'll still go all right, but yeah, I think that little added pressure does make it a little bit harder for them. Yeah, for sure. No, it's interesting. Like it's good points that you make. And I, like you, get, you kind of get up to play the Warriors now uh, too. Again, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm not saying you, they never were a team that no one got up for because uh, you know they've always been big and you know hard to handle. Jimmy but, Jimmy Maloney said <laughs> once. <laughs> he goes, mate. Like <laughs> basically, he said he goes. When you play the Warriors, you don't care if you lose over there because it's such a shit trip anyway. (laughs) (laughs) You don't mind losing two points over there. Who gives a fuck? No one cares about that game over there. But they're rolling over there now and like the the vibe of game day, the pre-match experience, the crowds. It looks unreal. Yeah, it looks... uh, And they, you know what? They deserve it after what they went through in COVID. They were over here for a while and... (laughs) They were shocking for a bit, eh? Yeah. So, you know, it is really good to see and hopefully they do stay up in the top four because it is good for the game. It is good for over there so mm. um yeah hopefully they they get back on track all right last one i just seen one shout out our roasty four million plus the roosters war chest for 2025 mm-hmm. so obviously you got um daniel tupo coming off contract on 500k angus Crichton unsigned 600k mm. uh Suwali, he's on 750 <laughs> Joey Manu's on 800 he's off to u- both of those boys are off to union yeah Kerry's about to retire he's on 850 and jared he's on says 600 here He'd be on more than that, wouldn't he? Yeah, I think so. Who's the biggest loss out of all those boys? Hargraves, I think. Is he? Yeah. Oh, he's but just, he's just uh, for for so long. He's just been in the middle, tough, the aggressor. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. Kiri's been a big point of the, like when since he's been there as well. But I just, you know, when you see a grouse forward roll up every week. Fucking hit and blow, doing them guard Yeah, over. just, Fuck just, off. just tough, and yeah, there's nothing better than that. So, especially the leadership, why you know, a leadership side of it. Um, I think he'll be a massive, a, a massive loss for him. Even though Joey Manu and all them younger boys are freaks, but just yeah, just I think his presence and what he brings every week will be um, a massive loss for them. Your boy Gagai, Gagai's name's been tossed up as a potential replacement. Can you see him coming to the Roosters? I think he's to be there, fair. Eh? I don't think he will. He's, um, I think his partner's from up there. Um, he loves it up in Newey. Um, it all depends on what he wants out of his career. Does he want to move for? Well, I don't know. Has he won a comp? No. Nah. Nah. No. Nah. No. Nah, he hasn't. Um, he's won a few State of Origin series though. Oh, he's so carried a few yeah, State of Origin fuck. series. Fucking so up. I think he's all right there. But again, he might want to win a comp if he hasn't won one. Um, Actually, rang him on the grogs on Thursday. Didn't answer too. (laughs) (laughs) Bro, I hate when people ring me. Oh, bro. bro, I just look at it and go, nah. I was like, uh, next day I was like, bro, you've been the biggest punish, man. But you know when you're just on the grogs and you want to have a chat to people you haven't spoke to for a while? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Like loud But like, oh, yeah. So, um, but yeah, it all depends on what he wants out of um, his career. If he wants to win one, maybe he goes there. Wonder, wonder who they're going to get to because obviously the, roosters chase big dogs. You know well, that's what I, mean? what I was going to say. How are they are they going to go for more of a younger like all the all the boys are going to be younger for the future, or are they going to buy for the next two or three years and try win another comp, or do they settle for young talent? No. Maybe I don't think maybe that's... maybe one or two years. It's a bit slow. 
Yeah. And then, you know, in the long run, they're up there. So it'd be interesting to see which way they go. Bro, four million to play with is plenty. Like I, I was thinking, like um, Nathan Cleary posted last night and I was just sort of gene him up, trying to tag Mark Boris in his like Instagram comments. <laughs> 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 hey, let's get Nathan over these yeah. ways. Yeah. I, I think we chase those like who's those who's hope. off the mark like do do we know who's off the market in the other does teams? That, does that matter anymore? Huh? Should just whack up the old compassionate grounds. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Munster just can, he goes, oh, I want to get closer to, he just needs to say, I need to get closer to Queensland. And technically, like, Sydney's closer to Queensland. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know no, who, why money's going there? What? You don't reckon? Frank no. Fernasta is, is his guy. Nah, no way. There's no way. You don't reckon? Nah, I don't reckon, bro. Nath? Nah. What? You're off your head. That's what I'm, like, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Who's off... Like obviously Sam Walker's there. Who who's like the up and coming five eight? Jonah, there's a guy named Jonah Peasant plays for um, Melbourne. He's a gun. Yeah, but he just signed his ACL on the weekend. Okay, but they 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 were like basically when um, Munster was saying he was going to go. Hang there. on, I'm in fine form lately. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> 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 nah, yeah, no yeah. way, fuck. No, Get the tri colours no, on. No way, bro. Fuck. They might just go for someone like nice and steady, like Chad Townsend, who's coming off contract. Like he can steady up, up the Is ship. he coming? Oh, okay. He's coming. Oh, I thought he was finishing up. No, nah, nah, he's nah. coming off contract. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or they just give the reins to Sammy Walker and fire long balls and chips all, all season. Uh, you just know, get just a massive 5 8, just run running 5 8. Yeah, I wonder who he's about. I'm just trying to think. That's what, that's what I'm thinking too. Because I remember like a few years ago when, when I think Roosters almost got the spoon when they, it was like mm. Jaden, uh, Jackson Hastings and Jaden Nicarima oh, and like yeah. Latrell on that only they're only like five games in. Yeah. And they got rolled that whole year. Yeah. And then Piercy come back and yeah. Kerry. Kerry's been one of the great buys. Yeah. I think he's 100%. picked up like four rings, bro. Three. Three? Three rings. Oh, Dark yeah, the back to back and one at South. Oh. Yeah, congratulations too, Kerry. Yeah. Well done. One of the good guys. Yeah, far out. Fuck, if you walk past that dude on the street, you wouldn't think he's a... One of the best five eights to ever play the NRL. NRL. Oh, yeah. Weasel. <laughs> and then, yeah, like you said, he's one of the best five eights. Fuck me. He came in here one time and just had a black t shirt, v neck, yeah. like tight t shirt on. Yeah. And I walked past him and I was like, fuck. Crazy. Tough. Tough as a gun. Tough, 100%. Tough. Speaking of um, tough, oh, oh, the Fozzies been in some fine form. Mm. Captain of the Titans, just <laughs> digging into the line, just How falling good. apart. I admire Hoz, like just <laughs> what he's been through and what he's doing. Just to have the ticket to stay up there, man, because it's... <laughs> he must love it. Yeah, he, he must love it. He must love it. you got to love it. It's hard enough. Mm. But um, good on him. He'd be a sore boy after footy. Yeah. You know what? I'm glad they got the win too, the Titans. They've been thereabouts for the last three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, the last three weeks have gone hard. They've probably lost by like two, four points. Get some good sides too. Yeah, good sides. So um, yeah, good on you, Gold Coast. Yeah. Good on you, boys. All right, that's a wrap on today. Um, obviously, can you see what happens with Kenty over the next couple of weeks? Yeah. But um, see you next time. Yeah.